Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Fisher Cutter Cube and as a bonus, the regular Cutter Cube. Alright, and so starting out with the materials, you just need two things. And so firstly, you need the Fisher Cube V2. And so the V1 could also work, but you'd need to find a different 3x3. And so on that note, the next item we need is the YJ Guanlong. But the Yulong, Qilong, and Sulong could also work since they have pretty much the same mechanisms and there aren't really any performance differences between any of them so you can choose either one to work with. Now you really don't need a tutorial for this mod if you can even call it that. All you need to do is take the pieces from both cubes and switch the top and bottom layers and that'll give me both my cutter cube variants. And a screwdriver isn't even needed, all you're doing is switching the pieces and so unless you need a guideline, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. Alright, and now you can see both of the cutter cubes are done, and you saw just how easy the process of making them was, and both of them look really awesome and turn really great as well. And I think the cutter cube is probably the most classic mod that people first try out, but by doing it this way, it's so much less of a hassle, it's a lot cheaper, and it looks a lot cleaner too. And as an added bonus, you get the Fisher cutter cube, which I think is a really cool twist on the regular cutter cube. But needless to say, I definitely recommend that you guys try out this mod for yourselves. It's so simple, it's really cheap, you don't even need a screwdriver. And the final outcome is two really awesome performing and looking puzzles. But I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, if you can't even call it that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse, I'll see you in the next one.